hello guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm just giving you guys a behind the scenes of my baby sprinkle <laughs> yes it's called baby sprinkle because I've had multiple kids this is not my first child but I organized this event and I was so happy to see it come together so I wanted to share with you guys tips for how I organize my baby shower stroke baby sprinkle I got this from a vendor and what's their what they call it their stickers and you can stick it on water bottles you have to get the right size of the bottle you're using so we're just going to do that this morning gonna stick it on a bottle let me show you how so this is a sample bottle that we stuck it on I made sure to buy a water bottle that has white cover because I just want it to look nice and it says the yeah, says baby sprinkle what do you guys think really cute right <laughs> so I'm going to put it in fridge now this is a DIY baby shower thingy well done no? and then this is just the setup that is going on right here To give more variety on the snacking of the day I just got different types of snacks I have chin chin aka flower nuts <laughs> I think flower nuts is such a cool name for chin chin then I have like some colored popcorn and some coconut um, cookies and just anything I could find I just brought everything together so whatever you can find put it together it just makes the whole um, when you set up the table it just makes everything look really nice if I wasn't pregnant I would have made some of the snacks myself because um, I recently created an e-cookbook, a digital cookbook that is all about recipes that are for entertainment. But you guys are pregnant, tired, and I couldn't be bothered. But if you have time or people that can help you create these recipes, you can download that digital cookbook. It has over 30 recipes for you and you'll find something nice that you can use to entertain your guests from drinks to canapes to like small chops and to like main meals you will find in that book so download it the link will be in the description box These are the what's it called? Um, cookies. Cookies. Yeah. <laughs> cookies. yeah but the other we're not eating it now. Oh. Yes. oh, baby, this one is a flower. This one is a. Uh, oh, mommy. beautiful! It's what? a baby bottle. Yes, it's a baby bottle. Really I like cute. To eat baby <laughs> this one is a baby dress. Really cute, right? I this is another bottle. Really cute. So I'm going to put it back and get ready for the event. Take a big bite. Can I eat the cover? Yes, eat it. Eat everything. Everything is eatable. Mmm. What do you think? Is it yummy? It's a, it looks so very mila. <laughs> Something else that I have to show you guys is uh, all these uh, photo props. I got the cookie. Yeah. I want this one says baby loading. This one says ready to pop. Popping bottles. This one says baby on board. This one says team boy. And then this one says team girl. This one says yeah, Mrs. Baby Sprinkle. The other one says here for the food. They are all really cute. Yeah, hold it. Thank you. This one says oh baby. 
This one says, oh, oh my ovaries. <laughs> this, this one says, hey champ, we can't wait to meet you. Uh, yes, and this one says, diaper crew. Really cute. Yes, Tiara, everything is funny to you. So it's somebody in Ibadan that did it for me. I'm going to put all the links in the description box. So this one is supposed to be a banner. Tara, what are you doing? It says, welcome to EMC's sprinkle. Mommy, can you put it? It don't have stickers. No, the sticker is for water, Tara. The sticker is for the bottles. See? Sticker is for the bottle. See how cute our bottle looks. So it's the Mom. same person in Unipadon that did it. Mommy, can I have mommy? Hmm? You want to do one? Who is this mommy. on your head? No okay, I'm going to give you a bottle of water that you can put sticker on. Okay. We have our cake topper here. Our cake topper says, oh baby. So this is our cake. It is so gorgeous. We were going for a what? <laughs> We're Mommy. going for a boho themed shower. But any design we're gonna see right now, I'm not gonna take on like that. So once we're ready, we'll put this on top and then it would look perfect. <laughs> Tiara, can you see we are putting our water in the cooler? So this cooler was gifted to me by Natsunundo Chicken. You are boring, you are bored. Oh yeah, come and put the water in the cooler. Since you are bored now, come and put the water in the cooler. Okay. Put it in the cooler. Open the cooler, please. Mm-hmm. Tiara likes activity. Shall we watch? <laughs> so we've already put the labels on the water. So we're just going to... Yeah. Well done, Tiara. Good job. Hard-working girl. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> So I really like this cooler. <laughs> she said you should not help out. Tara wants to do everything by herself. One, one, and two. Yes. Seven bottles. No. <laughs> <laughs> Two bottles. One. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sister is here. What do you guys think of the makeup? Anyway, music is going to be blasting in a. What did I say? Music is going to be blasting in a few minutes, so I need to be off now. I need to make sure that everything is on point. A lot of things are not going according to plan, and it's upsetting me. But, anyways, we move. guys 
baby sprinkle is over. I'm bending because my waist. Baby sprinkle is over. It is called sprinkle. Like I said, sprinkle when you've had multiple children. So baby sprinkle is over. We thank God. I was so nervous because I don't like inviting people to events. I always feel like people will not turn up. I always feel like people will not turn up when I invite. But I thank God for the people that came. I'm really grateful because I've told you guys before, my house is really far. And it takes a certain labor of love to come and visit me here. So I am grateful. Baby is grateful. <laughs> Yo, you guys, I'm sure by the time you see this go, baby might have come because baby can come any moment now. Like, I intend to give birth in the next one week. So baby might come any moment now. I'm feeling very exhausted, very tired. So many things, so many things I want to say. Let me, let me say something. So I kind of feel like this pregnancy has been so... I think I should do a pregnancy recap video. It has been so different. I feel like it has gone by fast. And at the same time, I feel like I cannot wait to be unpregnant. Like for the baby to come and for us to move on to baby things. Because it takes... And it has taken a toll on me physically. I feel like I don't recognize myself, not physically, like, but my strength. I feel like I don't have energy for anything, you guys. I can't even stand for five minutes. I'm always exhausted. Anytime you even see video for me from me, just know that it was one of those days where I prayed. And truly, God answered my prayer. There was one day I was like, God, this is, this is not possible that... I don't have any strength. And you guys, when I mean any strength, I'm not exaggerating. No. Strength to stand up from the bed to go to the kitchen. I don't have it. And I'm like, I am someone that is, I know how hard working I am. I'm someone that on a normal day, I can do so many things. I can multitask. I can do a lot of hard physical tasks. I can go to the mainland three times. For me, like, impossible is nothing. Like, if it comes to filming videos, I can film five videos in one day. This is why I'm such a DIY person. I do a lot of my things myself, filming, editing, and all that. Because I can do it all, and I still have extra energy for other things. But this pregnancy showed me shaggy, man. <laughs> I know fit get up. I know fit do anything. And it just made me feel useless. <laughs> it just made me feel like <laughs> I can't wait to get it over with so that I can just go back to being who I used to be. But I'm grateful we've come this far. We've come to the end. There's something else. I feel like I have not gotten the pregnancy shoot that I really, really want. And I don't know how to explain that. Like, I feel like I've not achieved... The pregnancy shoot and the fact that I'm getting closer to my due date is making me panic because I feel like I really want to get this shoot done and if I don't do it then this moment has passed I don't know how to explain it it's kind of like the fear of missing out I really really want a dope pregnancy picture that I can print on the wall I don't know if I'm going to just do one you know when you say one last uh, push before the baby comes like just push myself one last time to go and do a photo shoot because taking a lot for a photo shoot to happen is expensive um, you need to get stuff together you need to be organized and physically you need to be you know ready so I don't know if I'll still be able to do like the kind of photo shoot I have in mind if I can of course you guys will see it if I don't I just accept, accept it as my luck. <laughs> well, I'm so grateful for today. Today went well. I can't wait to see the pictures and the videos. And, and that's it. Thank you guys for joining me on today's video. Thank you for all your well wishes. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.